ಶೂಟ್ ಆಗಿ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಶೇಷ ಗೋಪಾಲನ್ ಸತ್ಯ ಸ್ನಿಗ್ಧ ರೋಶನ್ ಯಾದವ್ ಲಾರೆನ್ಸ್ ಎವ್ರಿಬಡಿ ವೇಕ್ ಅಪ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಸ್ಲೀಪ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಆ ಗಯ ಕ್ವಿಸ್ ಕಾ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಕರ್ನೆ ಕಾ ಎಸ್ ಫಟಾಫಟ್ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಕರೋ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಕೊಲೊರೆಕ್ಟಲ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ಸರ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಚುಬಿರಾರ್ ಎಡಿನೋಮಾ ಇನ್ವಾಲ್ವ್ಸ್ ದ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಮ್ಯೂಟೇಷನ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ವಿಚ್ ಜೀನ್ಸ್ ಶುಟ್ ಯುರ್ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಕ್ವಿಕ್ಲಿ ಶೇಷ ಗೋಪಾಲ್ ಇನ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಏಯ್ಟೀನ್ ಮೆನ್ಷನ್ ದಿ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಇನ್ ಶುಟ್ ಯುರ್ ಆನ್ಸರ್ಸ್ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಯಾ wake up wake up wake up wake up and uh, answer the questions yes roshan is proposing apc ras and tp53 right ha huh. what are your other answers satya also thinks the same very good any other answers lawrence thinks the same acha apc ras and tp53 is what you should remember so apc is a suppressor gene RAS is a proto-oncogene, TP53 is a suppressor gene, is what you need to remember. A 36-year-old man present with the lesions which are being shown in this picture. Dil laga ke deko, how the lesions are basically looking like. De clear na? Haan. Whenever physical stress is there, these lesions are exacerbating he also complains of pain in the distal interphalangeal joint now which pathological changes characterize this lesions and what is your diagnosis come on who is going to give me the answer yes one confident answer doctor uh who is going to give me the answer yes uh what what is the diagnosis what are these lesions and what is the underlying the histopathological change that you expect in these lesions satya is saying liquefactive degeneration oh is it brain it's not brain right ha huh. then uh, surekha is also attracted to the option c pehla diagnosis bolo baad mein answer bolenge right diagnosis kya hai commit karo brahma tirth chaturvedi is saying the epithelial cell hyperplasia yes epithelial cell hyperplasia absolutely so these are the lesions which are the salmon colored plaque which is seen in the case of the psoriasis and uh, it is the epithelial hyperplasia where there is a unregulated proliferation of the squamous epithelial cells is what you need to remember a 32 year old from chatisgarh is having fever and pain in the lower right thigh रेडियोग्राफ करे तो इरेग्युलर लुसेंसी मेटाफाइसिस में दिखाया एंड द फोटोग्राफ इज बीइंग शोन टू यू पेरिफेरल स्मियर का फोटोग्राफ दिखाई दिया जो एरोस दिख रहे हैं आपको उसके ऊपर ध्यान देना आपको क्लू मिल जाएगा एंड द डेवलपीसी काउंट इज 28000 सेल्स हाई काउंट then which is the pathogen most likely to cause this finding is a interesting question yes doc what is your answer is it pseudomonas is it salmonella is it staph or strep what is your answer yes so hum free class chalaye to humko 120 140 aate hain online mein live online mein paid students we are only able to see around 20 of them coming right ha huh. how come so uh, i'm give, listening an answer salmonella absolutely so it is a sickle cell anemia doctor right so what are these cells called as sickle cells and these are the target cells you can see the target cells 
they are typically seen in sickle cell anemia and you find salmonella paratyphy leading to it no doctor aapko ek pedigree dikhayenge dil laga ke dekho pedigree ko what type of inheritance pattern is it representing the pedigree yes give one confident answer what is the type of inheritance pattern is this pedigree showing yeah so dekh liya na pedigree ko dil laga ke dekh liya na ha abhi aap answer karna padega this kind of inheritance pattern aapko kahan kahan dikhai dega where do you see this kind of an inheritance pattern yes doc question number 22 so um question number 22 first if you understood what is the inheritance pattern you can be able to answer yes quickly come on you need to push the answers so idhar kya ho raha hai ammi jaan agar affected hai to what you are able to see agar ammi jaan affected hai to tabich unke bete ko aa raha hai agar abba jaan affected hai to he is not transmitting to the next generation so this kind of inheritance gives you clue about what very good roshan rightly says mitochondrial inheritance that is the reason leber optic atrophy is the answer for this question right ha a 64 year old nine month history of severe constant pain in the splenic flexor shortly after eating khana khane ke baad so intense that he is afraid amo mujhe khana nahi chahiye recently he has noticed blood in his stools also now this is the barium picture of him dil laga ke dekho barium picture you are able to see now after seeing this barium picture you should tell me what is the most likely diagnosis who is going to give me the correct answer in this 64 year elderly person yes what is the most likely possibility yes should you answer doctor so roshan is proposing angiodysplasia oh आपको एंजियो डिस्प्लेसिया और वॉट गिव ए मोर रिफाइंड आंसर इट्स कॉल्ड मिसेंट्रिक स्कीमिया इट्स कॉल्ड एबडोमिनल एंजाइना खाए तो और ज्यादा पेन मीन्स द मिसेंट्रिक ब्लड इज नॉट एबल टू गो टू द गट आफ्टर यू ईट so that typically happens in mesenteric ischemia aap jo dekh rahe hain this is thumb print appearance is what you need to remember so it is a case of ischemic colitis absolutely right now doctor this is a photograph of a 42 year old man history of alcohol abuse presenting with ascites this is the close up view on his face then is lesion ko jo underlying pathophysiology hai the same pathophysiology is responsible for which other manifestation is the question pehla aap isko dekhne se samajh lena what is this lesion what is this lesion that you are seeing then you will be able to answer which of these manifestations 
even they are also because of the same underlying pathophysiology that is the question of the examiner let us see who will give me the correct answer yeah that is telangiectasis badhiya telangiectasis kyu hota hai telangiectasis kyu hota hai usi ke karan se aur kya hota hai cirrhosis of liver mein there is the same reason for the, them to also happen in cirrhosis of liver with portal hypertension yeah should should you answer doctor yes what is the one which is responsible brahma tirtha chaturvedi is proposing asterixis is because of that roshan yadav soch raha hai ki kepadmedusay is because of that why do you get telangiectasis telangiectasis ka underlying pathophysiological cause kya hota hai anybody would like to give an alternative answer yes hyperestrogenism is responsible for the telangiectasis the same hyperestrogenism in cirrhosis of liver is also responsible for gynecomastia that is what you need to basically remember abhi maza aa gaya na ha that is very 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 important no doctor a 46 year old woman has presented with abdominal abnormal findings on cervical pap smear the photograph is showing colposcopic biopsy ka histological slide now aap dil laga ke dekho ये हिस्टोलॉजिकल स्लाइड में आपको क्या दिखाई दे रहा है वॉट इज दैट विच इज विजिबल राइट सो एवरी डे वी हैव ए क्लास सिक्स टू एट पी एम एंड वी डिस्कस अराउंड सेवेंटी एटी क्वेश्चन गर्मा गर्म देन आफ्टर दैट वी विल हैव ए ट्वेंटी एमसीक्यू इमेज बेस्ड एमसीक्यूज एंड all the viewers i request to call our helpline 9000868356 and uh, take a enrollment into onlinembbs.com so that you get the privilege to become the part of this uh, daily live online interactive session is uh, something which uh, makes you get energized and activated and uh, you can go back to the video library and can be able to review yes so you should remember doctor it is ah uh, what is your diagnosis aap dekh liya na abhi fatafat bolo 46 year old woman ka what is your diagnosis after looking at this histology isme aapko invasive cancer or dysplasia hyperplasia hypertrophy kya dikhai de raha hai let me see who gives me the correct answer right ha huh. so dysplasia ka ardh hai deranged growth right ha huh. brahmatid chaturvedi ji ko hyperplasia dikh raha hai no doctor it is a case of dysplasia dysplasia so dysplastic cells are distributed in the upper third of the epithelium and uh, loss of polarity of the cells is an important clue now doctor which clinical disorder is very compatible with this pedigree aapko humne ek pedigree dikhaya dil laga ke dekho um is pedigree ko right what type of inheritance is being shown in this pedigree right ha huh. so once you look at this pedigree you are sure what you are able to see in this pedigree right then i will ask you the question yeah so what is your what is the kind of inheritance pattern here and which condition among this follows that inheritance pattern is the question of the examiner yeah should you answer question number 27 so 
uh, one important clue I am trying to give you. Uh, one important clue I like to give you. Grandpa had it. Daddy had it. Grandchildren generation may be hai. Teen generations may hai. Isko kete hai vertically transmitted condition. What type of inheritance? All the three generations may dikhai dega. Lower the generation, more severe it will become. So which condition it is? Yeah. It shows incomplete penetrance. Incomplete expressivity. Huh, what is the another important clue? Give me the correct answer. Yes. So it is a case of uh, come on, come on, come on. Shoot your answer. Autosomal dominant pattern of inheritance. Which condition among this is autosomal dominant, doctor? It is the von Willebrand disease which is transmitted. Autosomal dominant is what you need to ultimately remember. So with this we come to the conclusion of the today's class doctor and thanks for the patient listening every day evening 6 to 8 let's do a good revision 8 to 8 30 let us have a image based quiz until January first week where you are fully confident to face the need PG and after this session is over you are going to give me a promise you will go back to the online MBBS video library pick up few topics and do the revision and I keep sending you an email and uh, please don't forget if you have not yet registered please do register in um, onlinembbs.com login and register in the onlinembbs.com so you get a lot of free material and uh, you can even be a paid subscriber. So thank you very much. Have a good night and uh, prepare well and tell me tomorrow you finished seven, eight more topics because of this wonderful inspiration that you got in the live interactive session. Thank you.